In this video, we're gonna be doing a head shave with a brand new brand to me, this Crown and Crane Dragon's Blood sent to me by Brian. Thank you very much, Brian. And we'll use the usual suspect for a head shave, the leaf. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. And if it's your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So as mentioned before, Today, we're gonna to use a brand new soap brand to me. This is Crown and Crane out of Augusta, Georgia. This is a sample that was sent to me by Brian. Thank you so much, Brian. Um, never Have never had any experience with this soap, but they do offer generous samples. This is about a full ounce, kind of like how Sterling does it. I love it. Great, great option. I love it when these artisans uh, offer samples. So what I've done is cut a little bit off and somebody else will be getting a chance to try this. So share those samples, people. Crown and Crane out of uh, Georgia. This is Dragon's Blood, and it's got your typical Dragon's Blood type scent, which is, to my nose is that sort of uh, herbaceous, slightly powdery scent. Scent strength on this is pretty good. I would call it at least a six, slightly over medium. Um, not bad at all. I don't have any experience at all using this soap brand, so it's going to be interesting to see how it goes today. The cost on this, excellent. Um, they sell this in samples or five-ounce tubs. And most of them were priced at $14.95 for five ounces. That is on our chart an excellent, actually exceptional $2.99 per ounce. So under $3 an ounce, that is really nice. And you know I love that. Now they didn't have this soap available on the website at the time of shooting. And I'm shooting this on Sunday. It probably won't air till Tuesday evening or maybe Wednesday. But they have lots of choices uh, on the website. So we'll give this a go today and see uh, how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna use the leaf, you know, we're doing a head shave, so there's your leaf. And we're in the leaf, our two half uh, derby blades. So I snap it in half, put them in there, two blades. We've been going with two blades recently just to see how that goes. So let's go ahead and mist the dome here and we will give our crown and crane a shot. Oh, I forgot to mention the brush. The brush today is the uh, PAA Amber Aerolite brush which I used, uh, actually I used it earlier today. Really, really nice. This brush punches above its weight. It's 24 millimeter. It's got a brand new knot called the Stygian knot, which is sort of a fan bulb hybrid. It seems to me to be bigger than, uh, at least in the loft when you look at it, it's got a nice big uh, bulb, but, you know, the hybrid knot. It, it's just larger than it appears, let's put it that way. When you think 24 millimeters today, you don't think of it as being a large, not, but this one just, it punches above its weight and it is based on, I wrote it down for you because I can never remember this stuff. This is based on the Erkskin B200 and it it is a brand new knot from PAA called the Stygian. And I enjoyed using it early today and it was still damp so I figured why not use it uh, again. This was sent to me by PAA for evaluation so please take that into consideration if you like. However, I will have a link below, affiliate link if you're interested and that does uh, help the channel. Anything that's under the affiliate links section helps the channel get a small stipend, but I never ask you to buy anything on this channel. It's completely up to you. So if you're interested, check it out, but I am liking it. So thank you, Douglas. Um, he makes some really inexpensive. This one is 1995, by the way, this, this brush. He makes some fairly inexpensive, inexpensive brushes that have these retro designs that I really like. Very affordable uh, relative to, you know, a lot of the, especially the natural hair brushes on the market, but they do the job. And so no problems with the lather here on this crown and crane. Again, my very first experience, it's got some good ingredients that I didn't mention. So let's show them to you right there. Some things I like aloe, shea butter, cocum butter, lanolin. So not bad, not bad at all. Tallow based soap. So let's wet our leaf and let's see how the soap treats us today. Again, thank you, Brian. Brian on Instagram reached out to me and asked if I'd uh, ever used Crown and Crane. And I said, no, and not only have I never used them, I've never heard of them. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, you, you get to try something completely new. And uh, as a bonus, they have such general sample size, which is much like Sterling samples. So if you've ever gotten a, a Sterling sample, this is the size that they are, one ounce. Excellent, excellent. I love that. So I will send this off to someone else when I send a, a package. And I have a couple of uh, packages I'm sending out this week. 
So this one will be going to someone else to try. And again, we thank Brian from uh, Instagram for sending me a couple samples. I have another one I'll be using, Aquadigio. And again, that scent was also not on the, the website. So, but there are lots of options on there and they sell by the puck. They sell samples like this and they sell five ounce jars. Now, I don't know if those are plastic or whatever. Uh, I just didn't really see, but uh, really good price. And so far the soap is working well, no problems at all. Let's go ahead and get by the other ear here. Always be careful around your ears, gentlemen. That's an area that while head shaving, um, I have been careless and cut myself before. So just always be careful around those ears because you can slip up and nick that ear inadvertently. Of course, nobody would cut themselves um, deliberately. I guess <laughs> not unless you're maybe mentally ill or going through a rough time. But anyway, be careful around those ears. Nobody wants to cut themselves, typically. I certainly don't. The soap is performing well so far. I'm having no problems with it whatsoever. So this will be a brand that I will try. The price is right. Um, when I go to purchasing some soaps in the near future, I'll probably try one or two jars just to see what the containers look like and give more information. But from the perspective of a first run, it's priced right, it smells well, it smells good, I should say. It's performing well, not having any problems, at least from the perspective of a head shave with the leaf. I look forward to using it uh, for a face shave as well, just to see, you know, what that feels like. Not that it's super different, but you know, I'm using mostly straight razor shaves, or straight razors for the face, and uh, of course I always use the leaf for the dome. So it'll be interesting to see how this soap or the other soap, I'll probably use it on my face just to see how it performs. But so far from a first run, feels pretty nice. And again, if you're a fan of uh, Dragon's Blood, the scent, this is probably going to be one that you will appreciate. Uh, the lather, no problems whatsoever. So I would say from, again, first run with the brand, it's working quite well. No grievances of any kind. And I really love the options the company provides. Again, I don't know the folks at Crown and Crane. I wouldn't know them if they fell on me, literally. Like, I, I never had any conversation with them. But I'm enjoying this product here. And uh, I will certainly, thanks to Brian, at some point in the future, try a couple of their, you know, full soaps just to see how they are, but this one lathers fine, I can tell you that. Obviously, I can't speak to Post, you know, because I use Post Shape products. So I don't really, Post Shape qualities in a soap, while important for many people, because I use, look, since I use Witch Hazel, which is an astringent and typically an alcohol-based aftershave of some sort, I think that really cuts into any Post Shape quality of a lot of these soaps. So I don't really speak on that. It's not that important to me quite frankly, but let's get a little more of that lather. As you can see there, no problems <laughs> with the soap lathers easily. You don't really have to work hard at it. Again, it's a nice uh, nice first run with the soap. Thanks again, Brian, really appreciate that. These sort of things really help the channel. And so I'm one of those folks that I really like to take advantage of these samples and gives me an opportunity to try a new soap like this and so far I'm enjoying it and don't forget folks head shavers when you are shaving the dome clean up that neck in that area the area where you typically don't shave when you're shaving your face that's a little bit in between clean that up as well you don't want to be looking scruffy there by the way uh, one of the viewers said the other day and I can't remember who so I apologize that I was talking about what I call the bald kit. And the reason I have the bald kit is sort of to add some contrast and break up the face. And, and he said, yeah, when you don't have the bald kit, you look like a thumb. So yeah, if you imagine 
without the, <laughs> and he's exactly right. So we don't want to look like a thumb. That's why we have the stash and uh, goatee, just to sort of add some detail to the face because otherwise it's just a big blob of flesh and uh, I don't really care for that. <laughs> and that's why I have the, uh, the goatee and mustache. Otherwise I would shave it and I did shave it before I shaved my head. I always shaved it. I shaved it for years. And so it's not that I can't shave that area. I can shave it quite well. It's just that now that I, you know, rolling with the balds, you just need, a, I think, most most people, and there are some, some exceptions to this. Most people, if they're bald, don't look that great, just bald without any other hair at all. Like somebody maybe like The Rock excluded, you know, excluding him. Most people just need a little more detail in their face. In my opinion, just my opinion. But if you don't, if you, if you're bald and you don't have any facial hair, I'm not knocking you. I'm just saying I would look like a thumb. I'm not saying you look like a thumb. <laughs> I certainly don't want it. Whatever it is that you do, be happy with it. That's the key. Especially when head shaving, because I know a lot of men are very self-conscious about their hair. Um, I never was. I just got rid of it when I got tired of it and it was really getting thin and I was Gonna, eventually I was heading towards Mr. Burns from The Simpsons, you know, that no hair here, but hair here on the sides. <laughs> and so rather than allowing that to catch up with me, I decided to get in front of it, just go ahead and do what was already, um, genetics and nature had already decided uh, what was going to be. I simply expedited the process because I figured there's no use to holding on to that ridiculous <laughs> yeah. Get the neck here. No use to trying to hold on. When you hold on too long, and uh, I think we all have known people who try to hold on to that hair a little too long and they let it grow a little long and then maybe they're doing the come over or, you know, maybe they got the Mr. Burns. And that's okay if you like that. It's just not for me. Um, I, I would just prefer to shave the dome. And since I have been shaving the dome, I've really enjoyed it three over three years now. And uh, it works for me. So if you're a dome shaver, I want to mention again, I mentioned a gent. It's a nice residual slickness on this soap. Just, I'm shaving over on it right now. I want to mention another gent I mentioned the other day. Matt from No BS Beard and Blade, or excuse me, No BS Beard. Beard reviews, I think it is. I always get it wrong. I think there's too much in the chat name channel, but I'll link it below. Uh, a, a gent that I have discovered recently, or actually he started commenting on the videos, and then Dave Callie mentioned him. And so I went and checked out one of his uh, head shaving videos, and he was using a head, head slick product, and I think he used the Defender. Got to try out a leaf, uh, Matt, and see if you like that. Okay, let's pull some of the lather out of this brush here and just find our remaining pickups. Very nice. The leaf I think is working very well with two blades. In fact, I may just start using two blades. It's actually one DE blade snapped in half. So I say two blades, two half blades. I may just start using two all the time just because it's annoying to have one half of a blade sitting around because you have to snap two to get three. So this will hold three half D razor blades, but I don't think it really needs it for my, for my uh, hair. I think it's working fine with two. I used to always use three, but now I'm, I'm sort of in the, like, you know, why bother snapping another one? But if you use three, that's okay. Let's, let's grab a little more of this lab. By the way, I really enjoyed this brush. I'll link a video by Brian Yost that shows you what the brush looks like in the sun because this, uh, the bottom is sort of translucent, but it's got some marbling and design in there that's pretty cool. Um, I like these offerings from PAA, these synthetics. He makes some cool retro brushes for not a lot of money. This one's under 20, it's 1995, pretty cool. All right, man, I think we've gotten a nice shade with this crown and crane, so. It's another brand to try. And I, from the perspective of first run, I'd say 
it is worth trying. The price is right. And they offer these samples, which is just awesome. Um, I love that, you know. And again, folks, when you get a generous sample like this, if you get the opportunity to share it with another shaver, you know, that's fantastic. Because maybe they will support the artisan after having tried a sample like this. And so that's what I want to do is get everybody sharing those samples. So you can maybe find sense you like and support these artisans who are going to the trouble of making samples, which is of great value to me and all of us, I think. Okay, let me rinse the dome. We'll come back and get into a quick post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back with the magic made by witches. It's Thayer's. Get a good spray. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. In the, um, the spray bottle you can get on Amazon, I'll link below, but Thayer's is what's in there. Cucumber. Um, I like it. Doesn't really interfere with the scent. So today we had an excellent shave. First run with Crown and Crane. Thumbs up. I liked it. The price is right. Good quality. No problem at all. I will be trying this brand. Thank you, Brian, from Insta. The Leaf, you know I love it. Treats me right almost every single almost every time. <laughs> now I have cut myself with it, but it's always me. The leaf treats me right. Sometimes I don't treat myself right. The PAA Amber Arrow Light. Nice looking brush. 24 millimeter knot, Stygian knot that punches above its weight. In my opinion, I really enjoyed it. And we're going to finish off with another PAA uh, product. And this is a sample. This is an homage to Burma Shave. This is called Hotel Cecil. And so, I will get this out of the little sample vial and uh, we'll give this a go and see how it does. I use about half of it. Oh yeah. Oh, that smells nice. Burma Shave, it's based on Burma Shave. And again, it's definitely a retro scent. So mature scent I would call it, but it feels good. The dome, super slick and nice. Absolute eight ball, I love that, or cue ball, smooth. Wonderful, wonderful shave today. I want to thank everyone who joined me. I really appreciate it. Uh, and as always, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.